Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use your Cricut Explore Air 2 with different types of iron-on and vinyl. So I get the question all the time is, can you still utilize these kind of things that I show in my video with your Explore Air 2? I thought we would work with iron-on today, some difference that we've got glitter, some pattern. I get a lot of questions recently if you can use the new mosaic iron-on from Cricut, which is the squares and the circles, which I'm calling rhinestones because it technically is like a rhinestone. Um, so that's what, you know, if you see me calling it rhinestone, so, people's been asking, can you use these with your Explorer Air 2? And yes, these are things that you can still use with your Explorer Air 2. I always keep my Explorer Air 2 on custom. I don't ever mess with putting it on paper, vinyl, any of those. That way, I don't forget to change it. That way, I can choose all that stuff in Cricut Design Space. So, I always leave it on custom. I never change it whatsoever. Somehow, I have lost the sound to this footage here. But I'm just showing you that when I leave the dial on custom on my Explorer Air 2, it makes it just like the Cricut Maker where I could come up, hit browse on materials, and choose my materials just like I would as I would on the Maker, if that makes sense. So um, that's just why I love leaving it on that custom setting. It just makes it super easy. Choose your setting and you're ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the loading each material and cutting it out. You're going to be able to see me, you know, loading these and cutting it out so you guys can see how it works with the machine. And then I'm going to go ahead and speed through the weeding as well. I love using the Cricut Easy Press Heat Transfer Guide. It gives you perfect temps and times every time. I'm gonna choose Cricut Easy Press 2. My transfer material is Everyday Iron On. It's a cotton poly blend for my materials. And then you're gonna choose the Everyday Mat and Everyday Mat Easy Press Mat. Hit apply. It's gonna give us 315 for 30 seconds. So I just love using that when it comes to um, finding our settings. We're ready to find our placement, so I'm going to go ahead and get my ruler started here. I have a video showing you how to use this ruler. You can use the 3x18 or you can use a 6x26 if you are using like a 2x or 3x. So, today I'm going to be using the 3x18, the 9 inch marks your center, and then you're going to use these lines to line up over here at your armpit. Now, this is a medium, so say they don't line, but the ends of this ruler perfectly line there. The nine inch marks my middle. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold your image in half, not by the paper, but by the image. You're gonna get that crease mark, all right? Then you're gonna come right down from that nine inch. You're gonna line that crease mark to the nine inch. All right, there we go, just like so. So there is our glitter. The next piece is going to be our pumpkin. Right now I'm just figuring out placement. So I'm going to try to figure out exactly how I want to line this up. So I'll just start putting out down my images. I know it's hard to tell. This glare is super awful today. All right. So then my next one is this glitter pumpkin. And then my last one is going to be the super cute pattern. That the first piece that's going down is going to be this pumpkin. So I'm going to move this piece out of the way. All right. our t-shirt up so 315 for 30 seconds today we're going to be using the 10 by 12 all right now I'm going to go ahead and take our iron and move it up to 330 so we're going to be doing glitter at 330 for 30 seconds this right here was at 315 for 30 seconds so we need to let that cool down before we can peel it so this is a warm pill so 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this top piece off here. Now, some of these come came with it. So there is another layer on top of this. You can see it peeled up. So make sure if you're gonna be layering on top, I mean, you need to take it off anyways, but you can see how now this is kind of matted down. You wanna make sure that you peel off this layer. You have to do it anyways, but if you accidentally iron on your next layer, it's gonna be a mistake. So if you're ironing on top of this, layering, if you're layering on top, make sure you peel off that next layer. So always remember you have two sheets on the mosaic, whether it's the squares or the circles. So you're just gonna peel that off. All right. So now you can see that the whole thing's matted down. Take my ruler again, just to make sure that I'm putting this back where it belongs. So I'm gonna get that lined back up. All right, say that I'm happy with that. That crease mark, line it right up at the nine, making sure my pumpkin's lined right up where it needs to be. All right, looks good. Take my Teflon sheet to protect my bottom pumpkin. Go ahead and get this on here, 3.30 for 30 seconds. All right, gonna move our Teflon sheet. This is also a warm peel, so you're just gonna let it cool down. All right, say so we're ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and peel that up. Now we're gonna go ahead and figure out where our last two pumps, pumpkins are gonna go. So say I'm going to, I wanna go ahead before I lay down the glitter, I want to make sure where my pattern is going so I don't mess up. So say it's going somewhere just like so, but it's completely out of the way of the glitter. Now I'm going to go ahead and get our Teflon sheet back on to protect the rest of this. Get our easy press on top, 330 for 30 seconds. All right, move that Teflon sheet. All right, we're going to go ahead and bump our iron up to 340 for 30 seconds for the patterned iron on. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off for our last layer. And I'm just gonna figure out exactly what I wanna do. I think maybe I wanna put it right here. Cover it with the Teflon sheet. All right, this is the last one, 340 for 30 seconds. All right, lift that back up. Move our Teflon sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down because this one is a completely cold pill. It's not a warm pill, it's a cold pill. Now. When we peel this off, I wanna give you a tip. When we peel this off, if there's like a crease line right there, which I don't think there's going to be, you could always take your Teflon sheet back on top of everything and then add another five, 10 seconds just to smooth everything back out. All right, so I think that is nice and cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this. So there you have it. How cute is that? So this is like your little, now if I would have done this on top of a white t-shirt, you would have really got that true quad look from it. I didn't really think that through, but that's okay. You got several different textures. So you've got your glitter going on here, as well as your pattern. I mean, look at how cute that is. That pattern pumpkin is just super, super cute. So if you guys are not into cutting fabric or wood or any of those things, these things still work perfectly fine with the Explorer family. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.